Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, what should you charge as a notary? People always want to know, and for whatever reason, everybody act like it's this big secret. Listen, we not competition. Every It's enough money out here for everybody. Let me give y'all some tips. The first thing I want to tell you when you're trying to come up with your pricing, first, you want to find out from your state how much you can charge as a notary. Every state is different. Here in Florida, it's $10. Some states is $6. Some states, I think California, like $15, something like that. I don't know, but I know here we're $10. That is just the actual stamp fee. That's not anything else that you might be offering, and that's not your travel fee. So you figure out from your state what it is you can and cannot do, and you go from there. So ultimately, if they come to me at my location, at my residence, then I can only charge $10. But I'm mobile, so I don't let people come to me. I go to people. And so you get to charge a travel fee if you meet them. So what I will say is that's where you base your starting fee. You start at your $10, and then you go up with your travel. It's a lot of different things that go into how much your fee is going to be. And ultimately, when you first get them on the phone, you find out exactly what it is they need, and then you go from there. Now, one of the first things people want to do is call you, hello, and you will answer, of course, Tasha's Mobile Notary. Yes, you do notary? Yes. How much you charge? Listen, that's the first thing they say. There's no flat fee. So then you start asking them some of the key questions. And these questions should always be in your mind because you need to ask every single person these same three questions. First question, where are you located? You need to know where they located at because if they are too far or not in your area, the call doesn't need to go anywhere. Like literally you can figure out, okay, so I don't service that area. Or if they call and they say that they're 30 minutes away, you know, okay, where the, where your price point should stand, okay? So within maybe the, the first 10 miles in your area, you know, okay, so I'm going to charge this amount. I'm going to charge that amount. You figure it out like that. So your first question, where are you located? Your second question needs to be, what type of documents do you have? Why is that important? Because. The type of document that that person has is going to dictate how long you're going to be at that appointment. Getting there is one thing. Completing the documents, a whole nother monkey. So ultimately, if this person has a will or a power of attorney and they have six different people signing, that needs to be known in the very beginning before you give them a price. So you need to ask them, okay, what type of document? Oh, I'm, I'm going to do a will. Okay. How many people are signing this document? Is everybody going to be there? Another question you need to ask them. If it's a will or a power of attorney, you need to ask them, do you already have your witnesses? Oh, no, I don't have witnesses. Okay. So, you know, here in the state of Florida, you have to have two witnesses. So, if you have your own witness, you can charge for each witness that you bring. You can do that or you can ask them, okay, so in order to do this appointment, you're going to need two witnesses. So you need to tell them, okay, go ask your neighbors, go ask whoever. You need two witnesses before we can set this appointment up, right? You hate to get way over there just to find out you can't do it because you don't have witnesses and now you've wasted your gas. These, import, these questions are so, so important. So you want to ask what type of documents it is. You want to ask where you're located. And then you want to ask how many documents do you have? That's very important because you got to think about how many stamps we doing because whatever your base price is for your stamp, that's what you're going to be charging per stamp. So you're going to charge per stamp and then you're going to charge your travel fee on that. So you need to figure out how many pages. It's very important. The other day I had a person call me and they needed some immigration documents notarized. And they had, I asked her and she was like, oh, I have 12 or more. I'm like 12 or more. That means you, you counted 12 and you stopped counting, but there were more. 
okay. And then when I gave her a price, she was like, oh, no, 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 no. That's outside my budget. Okay. I was like, well, maybe you want to go ahead and call around and, you know, see what else you can find. She was like, oh, no, no, no. I want you to do it. Not for $60, you don't. Not 12 documents, honey. So, regardless of what, you need to find all of this out before you get there. So, if you get there and it's not what they said, then you let them know before you put your pen and stamp on anything. This price is going to change because you told me this, but it was really this. Remember that. So, another tip I have for you. When you are giving your prices and you give it to them, don't negotiate. When you give them that price, that is the price. Don't negotiate with them if they tell you, oh, well, I was looking to pay this. When they go to Walmart, they don't negotiate at the cash register. They just pay it. Ultimately, they're paying for a convenience. That's just what it is. You know your worth. You're providing a service that they need. And ultimately, value what you do. Don't negotiate. When I give you my price, that's my price. Simple as that. Because what I do know, what happens 90% of the time, I know that I give good prices. So they'll say, okay, well, I'll just, um, I'll look around. Okay, have a great day. And then 15 minutes later, they calling me back. Hi, I just spoke with you. Mm -hmm. And the price is still the same. Okay, great. So when can you come? Because they called around and they found out my price was good and I was available right now. So ultimately, and I didn't negotiate, don't let them think that your price is built on emotion. How you feel, what they say. No, it's your price. This is a business. Take pride in your business. Whatever your, whatever your fee is, that's your fee. And this is your business. So you get to tell them. Another thing to consider when you are giving a price to your um customers is where it's not just where it's located but the type of facility it is so if you're going to a hospital that's a entirely different scale when you're when you're charging because you have to do a lot of different things when it comes to doing something at a hospital sometimes you have to pay for parking sometimes you have to park a long distance walk, get on a shuttle, do a lot of things to even get to that person's room. You got to check in, you got to wait in line. Like it's a lot going on. So hospital, I charge more for hospital fees. When you have to go to like a retirement center, same thing. You got to park somewhere crazy. You got to sign in. You got to wait for them to get called, to come down, to meet you in some area. Like it's a whole process you got to go through. So it's different than doing mobile notary where you just walk up to somebody's house, walk in, go to their table, notarize the documents, and you out the door. No, it's an entirely different thing. You got to get checked in, show your ID, prove basically who you are, who they are. Like, it's a whole process. So you take all of that into consideration when you make your price list. And what I will say is you have a base point. So you need to write this stuff down. Have your base point and that's where you're going to start. Something else that will affect how much you charge is additional things that you offer. So sometimes people need the documents that you're notarizing scan back. So if you have a scanner, which most loan signing agents, we have scanners. So if you scan, that's an additional fee. If they have the documents in their email and they don't have a way to, to print them out, you have a printer. So now you're charging for printing. So you, you need to have a printing fee, what you charge them to print per document. If, you, if they need you to drop off documents like to a FedEx or to the post office or anything like that, that's an additional fee. That's something that is not included in your normal stamp. So that's something additional. Yes, you're available to do it, but it's going to be a fee. Another tip I have for you is... Get you a good clipboard. Look. So, I just ordered this on Amazon. I have no idea why I never thought of this. And I never hear anybody talk about it. But this is so convenient. So, I, I always keep me a clipboard in my vehicle, right? So, this clipboard, if you can see, right here at the bottom, 
That's where the pins go. And right here, look. The, the, the clipboard opens up like this. And it can hold up to 200 pages. Look. And look. You see that? So it's a clipboard. You can hold documents in here if you need to. You can put your cell phone in here if you need to. And you can always keep your pens. So you don't have to like be looking for a pen. So sometimes you want to jump out your car and go notarize something. And maybe the house look a little, a little dirty or run down or something. And, or they got a bunch of pets and you don't want to bring your notary bag in there because you don't want nothing to crawl in it. Listen, that's real life. So ultimately, you know what I'll do? Grab this, get my stamp, and go on in there. Because look, ultimately you can put your cell phone in here, you got your pen in here. All you're gonna need is this and your stamp. And you can make that appointment happen. And you don't have to put your bag down and risk something crawling in there and going home with you to make a family at your house, right? Listen, Amazon, I think I wanna say I paid maybe $13 for this. So just look up clipboards and you'll see all the different ones. But you see that? I am so excited about my, my new clipboard. And like this is so convenient. I don't know why I've never heard anybody talk about these clipboards. But guess what? Now we did. And the last tip I want to give you is if you have like an Apple Watch or on your cell phone, you need to go on your message part. And you need to generate a general message that whenever a person calls you and you cannot answer your phone, you send that to them so that ultimately they don't think you're ignoring them or you're not available. That lets them know that you are available and you open the line of communication so that you can set up that appointment. So on your phone, you need to say something to the lines of, thank you for choosing whatever the name of your company is, mobile notary. I'm not available to take your call. I'm with a client. How may I help you today? That simple. And literally that opens up the line of communication and that will let a person know that you didn't answer, but you're still there. So you they can go ahead and write, I need X, Y, Z. And if you're available, you can go back and forth and figure it out in spite of not being able to pick up your phone. Because that is the number one complaint about all notaries. They never pick up their phone. Always. That's the one thing I hear. So that's why I, in the very beginning, I figured out, okay, after I heard that so much, I'm like, well, how can I combat that? What can I do? And then I thought about this and I just, okay, let me just do that. I did it and I did it on my cell phone too. So if somebody calls me and whether I'm working my nine to five or I'm with another client, I can push one button, send that to them. And then ultimately that opened a line of communication so that I'm not missing out on that appointment. Thank you so very much. And what I will say is stay tuned to the very end. I'm going to show you a list of all of my normal appointments and what my base price is. So you don't have to charge that, but that gives you an idea where you can start. Okay.